It's time for having fun with learning and a W.E.B. Du Bois biography. Okay, okay. So in history, looking up and sharing stories about heroes is what I love. So if you've never heard of W.E.B. Du Bois, don't trip because I got you. For starters, W.E.B. Du Bois was a journalist, educator, and well-known civil rights activist. W.E.B. Du Bois was born on February 23rd, 1868 in Great Barrington, Massachusetts, and that's where life began for him. During this time in history, many African Americans were not fortunate enough to go to school and get a good education. This wasn't the same for W.E.B. Du Bois. Growing up in a mainly European town, he didn't see racism like others encountered. There, he had the opportunity to go to school with other white children and get an education. It wasn't until later on in life, when he attended Fisk University, that he encountered racism for the first time. After seeing how African Americans were treated, that sparked a fire in W.E.B. Du Bois, and he began to stand up for the rights of African Americans. Continuing on in school, W.E.B. Du Bois got his bachelor's degree there at Fisk University, but he wasn't stopping there. Another big thing that he did was in 1895, W.E.B. Du Bois became the first African American to get his doctorate from Harvard University. Oh yeah. Now of course, none of this is as easy as it seems, but Dr. W.E. Du Bois did his thing. Just like it costs money today, he went to school, worked hard, took some odd jobs, got scholarships, and also took up loans to get through school. After finishing school here in the U.S., W.E.B. Du Bois went to school overseas in Berlin. That's Germany. It was there he got to meet people who had different ways of thinking on how to treat others in society, and W.E.B. Du Bois bought those ideas right back here to the United States of America. W.E.B. Du Bois went on to publish writings like The Philadelphia Negro, A Social Study, and The Souls of Black Folk. Now, one thing that put him on a national stage was his disagreement with Booker T. Washington, another African-American leader there at that time, who had the Atlanta Compromise. With the Atlanta Compromise, it sacrificed African-Americans being in leadership in order to get good jobs. But W.E.B. Du Bois wasn't hearing that. He stood for full equality for everybody, no matter their race, color, or creed. Now, another big accomplishment in his life was, of course, fighting for the rights of African Americans. He helped to co-found the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, which is now known today mainly as the NAACP. But check this out. Living his life and fighting for the rights of African Americans is what he did. He ended up dying at the age of 95 on August 27th in 1963. The crazy thing about this was he died one day before Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. gave his I Have a Dream speech in Washington on August 28, 1963. When it came to the life of W.E.B. Du Bois, his voice will go down as one of the major contributors to the African American and Civil Rights Movement in the early 20th century. And I hope you enjoyed those fun facts with W.E.B. Du Bois.